Attention, thank you guys for coming out. This is Alamo City Movie Talk. How y'all doing out there? We're doing good, man. We're doing little introductions. You go first. Awesome. So this is uh, Alamo City Movie Talk. We're doing our top five uh, fit, uh, top five films of 2016, guys. I'm Nolan Ryan, a.k.a. Uh, Ryan D, a.k.a. Nolan Ryan, 680. Uh, one, a.k.a. Cloud X Drive. And I'm Mike, a.k.a. At Polaris Mike. Awesome. We are here to bring you the top five films that we have seen so uh, this year, this past year, of 2016, guys. Happy New Year, by the way. Go ahead, Juan. You going to first start us off? Top five. Well, top five personal movies for me. I'm going to start off number five at the bottom of the list. Uh, Sing. Great, funny film. Family animated film. Uh, has a lot of real issues in the movie. If you haven't seen it yet, yeah. watch it. Every character has their own little issues that like people go through every day. And I think it was really beautiful to see because kids are going to watch that. Maybe they'll get some attachment to it. No, yeah, it was good. It was good. Man. Matthew McConaughey was awesome. He did uh, this voice. I kept saying, I mentioned in our review too. Just all right, all right, all right. All right. <laughs> Who was your uh, favorite character? My favorite was Johnny the Gorilla. I think Johnny, awesome. Johnny the Gorilla. I, Johnny. I think you like Johnny, right? Johnny was my okay, favorite. Awesome. I, I like the Porcupine, but <laughs> we, we, we can, you can check it out on another review. Uh, what's our next one, guys? Uh, my other next movie, uh, personal favorite, uh, Final Fantasy XV Kingsglaive. Prequel to the video game. If you like Final Fantasy, I recommend watching the movie. Uh, then playing the game. Uh, it's a prequel to the uh, video game, so it gives you a lot of backstory. Not character development, but just backstory on what's going on. Then um, next on my list, I'm not going to touch on that one too much. Next on my list is X-Men Apocalypse. I'm pretty yeah. sure everyone's seen that one. Yeah, yeah. Love X-Men. Yeah. Um, good, good, good movie. Great movie. I think it's the X-Men movie we've needed like this whole time. They did a fantastic job with a Weapon X scene. My favorite character they did a really good portrayal of Night, uh, Nightcrawler. I was excited to see him. Yeah, yeah. Nightcr- and then uh, what do y'all? Um, Quicksilver, right? Y'all, Quicksilver. Everyone, everyone Quicksilver, loves Quicksilver. Stole the show again. Again, yeah. But yeah. Um, great movie, great movie. Uh, the reboot. I love the reboot. They could, they could do so much with that. Spoiler alert: Hugh Jackman's in there. Spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> he, has, he has an iconic scene. So yeah, yeah, I agree with that. That movie yeah. being on the list. Comparative uh, Wolverine Origins, this yeah. weapon X scene. Oh yeah, way, 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 way like, <laughs> Like, uh, <laughs> and they're making another one you see that yeah. post-credits scene they're not out of the park with yeah. uh, Mr. Sinister and the other movie for me another family film uh, I'm a family man one, right? yeah number okay. two for me uh, was Trolls uh, if you haven't oh. seen Trolls it's a musical uh, I haven't Nick. seen it have you seen it Mike? Justin Timberlake makes me want yeah, to watch just, it just Justin Timberlake was amazing oh, yeah, um, Anna Kendrick yeah. was in it Anna Kendrick uh, the animation is what did it for me though I'm like I'm video games uh, anime oh, yeah. the animation you see from like the good the Trolls perspective to the the Gergens I think they're called you see it's all dark and grimy and to colorful and nice the animation was amazing. The singing was really on point. Oh, yeah. A good movie. I recommend watching it with your family. Any of the trolls have any jewels on their belly? Uh, one of them's glittery, and they show a cameo of the old troll dolls ones we grew up with. Great. <laughs> and number one on my list. Number one movie for me in 2016, I watched it, I believe a week after it came out in the U.S., was a Shin Godzilla. Shin Godzilla, yeah. Uh, director, same director it. for yeah. uh, Neon Genesis Windows, Windows, Evangelion, Windows my favorite anime. Uh, Fully Coolie, another great anime. I love Fully Coolie. Uh, See, it's a, well, watching, watching the trailers, I just saw like it was just... Of course, the CGI wasn't as good as it is over here, but man, it just it looks story, good. Story, yeah. wise, story, story wise, story wise, it was then, it looked good. I mean, story wise looked good. Graphic wise, it sucked, but it I mean, didn't suck. It wasn't <laughs> it as sucked. good as it should have been. It's Godzilla, guys. Remember, when you watch that movie. No, you know. Space Godzilla. It exists. Space Godzilla versus good guys. Go- you gotta know, Godzilla, it's, it's, bro. They're gonna tear up fake. It was good. It space. was. Space way Godzilla. better than uh, I love Brian Cranston. I, I feel bad for saying this. It was better than what we got last year. Well, well, well. I don't know about that. Agree to disagree on that. I disagree with you on that. You haven't he, seen it. You haven't he seen thinks it. the yeah. one from the nineties was good. So don't. Hey, hey, hey! hey. <laughs> it's New York, bro. <laughs> but th- this is classic Godzilla. This is what Godzilla fans, original Godzilla fans, uh, needed and wanted. Yep. All right. So next, we're gonna awesome. Go on to All right. Ryan. So uh, real quick, guys. So the top five films. We're gonna go uh, from the bottom as well. So the top uh, number one. No, I'm sorry. My number five is gonna be Arrival. Amy Adams, pure Amy Adams. I mean, she does awesome in it. Aliens language. You know, they. It's crazy good. I mean, you need to see it, guys. Um, which say you want an arrow to shoot? Or you want you want an arrow to shoot an arrow or something? <laughs> I haven't seen it. But it the was reviews the, were really good. And yeah, I it was love, it was um, really good. I mean, like, she might even. I love yeah, I, I hope, hope she gets nominated it. for the Oscar. So um, fourth one, my number four is gonna be Suicide. Squad, Suicide Squad, yes, yes, Suicide Squad. It made the list, guys. DC fanatic, of course. You know, it's got to make the list. These, you know, awesome. El Diablo, Harley Quinn, Joker did awesome in it. Jared Leto did an awesome Joker. At least, can we agree on that? We do agree on that. I just, Different, but awesome. Very awesome. It was Mike Lowry with the Suicide Squad. That's what it was. I don't. <laughs> I I, I watch a bad even, boys I can't movie. Said that. I watch a bad boys movie, but I just didn't care for Deadshot in this movie. <laughs> 
Yeah, they kind of highlighted him. No, no, that shot was good. It was too that much of his, like, these angles from, like, down here up to his nostrils, and he always does that in every movie. Too much character ve- character development for him, not enough for the others. Oh, him and Harley Quinn. Well, yeah, I mean, I mean if you watch the extended but... cut, Hart, we get a lot, uh, a little bit more of Harley Quinn and Joker, more of a basis to, of, to wear a. Uh, why Harley? I mean, we all know the reason why Harley Quinn liked the Joker, but it shows us movie based wise for movie people that it shows Harley Quinn in love. Why she's in love with Joker? It shows her in that in those couple scenes. She's an abuse of a relationship. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> she's and basically a she stole. Fire. She stole the show. And then uh, we get uh, no, my number third. My number three is gonna be Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Awesome flick. Harry Potter world. I mean, without Harry Potter, I mean, but this is awesome. Charisma. J.K. Rowling. Of course, you know she. Uh, she uh she wrote the screenplay of it. I mean, she did awesome work on it. So really good film. You liked it, right? Did you like? I it? loved it. For me, like I've mentioned it a couple of times, that you know Harry Potter to him, this world uh, was new to him. So everything you yeah. saw in the movies with Harry Potter, everyone else was already jaded it was to new everything. To us too. Yeah. Oh yeah, sense. to us definitely. But like everyone around him was like used to the magic. Even Hermione was already used to it. And Harry Potter, you know, it was, everything was new. So we have a character that you know follows the protagonist for Fantastic Beast. He's basically the Harry Potter because everything's just dumped out on him like in one night. And for me, it just made it more great because you see a lot of new things that you didn't get from the other movies. Yeah, spoiler alert, Johnny Depp's in there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> number two, it's going to be Zootopia. The creativity between five directors, five writers it is completely amazing. The different zones, the predators, the prey, so much life lessons to learn, guys. I mean, we get so much of a sense to where... Uh, you know, we get a we get a lot of of, uh, of the predators, the prey. Then we also get a lot of bulliness, a lot of life lessons that, that um, uh, what do you call it? It's a lot to do with society, like the yes. way society betrays yes. yeah. certain minorities or groups. Yeah, they they touch up on that. A it, lot. it was it was a real good it was a real good um creativity, man. I, can't, I you know it was awesome, awesome work. Yeah. Different zones, eyes. <laughs> Jason the, Bateman yeah, did the, an amazing Jason Bateman, job. You know he's awesome in it. I forgot who voiced the bunny. Uh, I don't know her name, Judy. Oh, that's a his name Judy Hops. Um, it was the girl from Once Upon a Time. <laughs> Judy. The one with the short hair from Once Upon a Time. I don't know. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, but I mean, awesome. We'll Google her. Yeah, we'll we'll Google. I mean, if you if you uh, if you can correct us, put us on the comments down below too as well. And and then uh, our number one, of course, my number one of 2016, guys, the best one out of I I think of all year is Batman versus Superman. Of I course, think, I thought it came out like last like year before. Uh, it should, nah, it, it wasn't that memorable. Never for came me. out. No. <laughs> <laughs> Batman versus Superman, Maybe awesome. Ben, Af- ben Affleck. <laughs> Henry Cavill did amazing, guys. I mean, we just, you know, awesome charisma. Everything's great It was great good. About it. Um, I wouldn't say it was the best film, for me, at least. It was but when it came out, people kind of were trashing yes, it. Yes, a lot of things were wrong with it, of course. People were Can trashing it. Jelly Ranch in your mouth? But, um, I huh. watched it, and you I enjoyed it. Grandma's peach tea. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoyed it. It was, for it was me, a good film. There was, it was just a Jesse Eisenberg not playing Luke Luthor, right? Um, yeah. The, the whole thing with, um, what was that? Doomsday? Yeah. Kind of killed it for me, too, but for overall... What I I mean, the Doomsday I could get over because it's CGI and everything, and it's it's what's the main who's gonna fight Superman Doomsday. So I can get means, over that, but it's the Jesse that Eisenberg. Means, that <laughs> it's the Jesse Eisenberg that I was just like, nope, not having it. So uh, while I still like Jesse Eisenberg, he's still great. This wasn't his this wasn't his film. Can we, and what's your top five? For me, it's gonna be uh, number five, Star Trek Beyond. I've mentioned this to a lot of my Star Trek, uh, I mean Star Wars fans. Uh, I've never ever liked Star Trek before. My brother is the one who got me into the reboot. Um, I actually watched some of the old show with my brother. Um, didn't really get into it, but when I watched this, uh, I fell in love with all the characters. Mainly because he told me, you know, hey, Simon Pegg's in this. Uh, John shows in it. Yeah. Um, Kuma, uh, Harold. Yeah, Harold, I, I Harold could agree Kuma. with you on the reboot. I mean, the reboot when the f- first Star Trek came out. I mean, that quick scene where like you know he's coming, where he has to sacrifice himself. The I mean, Romulans. Like, yeah, talking. it was awesome. I, I love like, that scene. Like my brother knows I love settings. Like settings are what make a movie important. Yeah. That's why the last three Star Wars didn't really you know Cleons. stick with me. So with <laughs> this one, he got me into it. I watched this film. He hasn't watched it yet. But I know for a fact he's gonna love this uh, movie. Which this is movie, sad. You need to watch it already. Yeah, this Simon movie Pegg was, was a writer. I just haven't had a chance to watch it. Simon Pegg wrote and directed this movie. It's Help definitely the funniest <laughs> of the three that have came out so far. Um, they definitely did a great job in keeping low key on the villain. So overall, I do think this is one of the most observing movies on this list. Next, we got Civil War. Civil War. Boo. I freaking love the comic book. It was one of the most emotional books I've read. A lot of people died. 
Uh, this movie, all it needed was a few more people dying. Uh, they'd make it more inc- unpredictable for me. Uh, this is what makes these movies entertaining because mm-hmm. they don't stick panel by panel. But I definitely recommend this for anyone. It's on Netflix now. So that way, if you do decide to watch it, uh, you can agree or disagree. Comment below if you want to go ahead and compare it to. So far, uh, was okay. It was Batman. just too, so, too predictable. Way too nah, predictable. No, I love Introduction to Spider Man. We got another reboot. Oh, yeah. Unfortunately. So Spider Man uh, and Paul Rudd were awesome. Unfortunately, Batman. we got another reboot for Spider Man. Um, yeah. I'm, which looks good. It looks good. Yeah, it looks good. I this just, intro for Spider Man definitely makes it more exciting for Homecoming. Spider Man Homecoming is coming out this year. Um, I'm excited for it because there's no. Um, Origin story. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, no, no more. You gotta go story. through that again. Yeah, good. Okay. Skipping all of that, we're going straight into a funny action movie, and then we got Paul Rudd, who always does excellent. I'm excited for a new Ant Man because he's just great. And then uh, we're gonna go into the third movie on my list. It's gonna be Sausage Party. Yeah. While I do agree that there is a lot of cussing, I don't think it was unnecessary because this is exactly how <laughs> I adults just think it was a little unnecessary. When adults are on their own and they are smoking, and I mean it's Seth Rogen. I'm pretty sure he was playing with do that food. stuff. Uh, I do that <laughs> stuff. Uh, I like to play with my hot dogs. Uh, I even send inappropriate pictures to my brother. They, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there, used to, there used to be cussing with purpose, though. Purpose. Yeah, it's but, forced, not fluent. But yeah, this this movie definitely, um, at the end, is just uh, ridiculous. But overall, the whole rest of the movie, and the before that, it's great. Uh, and then we have the guy who played Ruxin, who played the douche. Uh, he plays the douche in Parks and Rec, which I love. Uh, next, we got Jungle Book. Um, you may not know this, but this is one of Disney's last projects. He did not get to see get released um, back in the 60s with the original animation. Now, we got the Jungle Book again. For me, it's one of those milestone movies, and we got Christopher Walken who played Louie, which just made me, you know, fall in love with the movie even more. We also got Bill Murray who played Baloo. They played, you know, Bare Necessities and stuff, which was a, a staple yeah. to the movie. Just, I didn't really care for it that much. Yeah, John Favreau, he did all the bear motions and everything. He did all the CGI. It was done on a Broadway stage, guys. It was incredible. Uh, John Favreau was working on The Lion King as well. I mean, it's just, yeah, I hope he does. He's, he's an awesome director, awesome writer. He does everything. Good. I actually thought this movie was filmed in a jungle. They were making fun of it. Yeah, me. I was. I was like, what? What are you talking about? I was like, no, but that's just how yeah. good the CGI was. It was just yeah, it was amazing. really, it was spot on. And then Edris Zelba, um, he's in both Jungle Book and Star Trek Beyond. So yeah. Also, I wouldn't Thor. be surprised if he was in one of these other movies without me knowing. Oh, you know what? Actually, Edris Zelba was also in the Marvel Universe as um, in Thor, the, Thor. Uh, the, gate, gatekeeper. the Gatekeeper. Yeah, the gatekeeper. Yeah. So uh, yeah, Edris Zelba is everywhere. He's he's the guy. Yeah. He's the actor for just about every movie. Yeah. And then we got Deadpool. Deadpool's on the top of my list. People who don't read comic books, uh, they watch this more than me in the theaters. I just needed to watch it once just to know that this is going to be a good movie. This is going to be a movie I want to own. Um, overall, Ryan Reynolds definitely pulled it off. Uh, basically, it's Van Wilder with, with guns. Um, overall, do, this do you own just... the movie or no? Oh, yeah, definitely own the movie. Oh, okay, I was like, because I, I own the movie. I was like, <laughs> did I copy yeah, I got the digital copy. Oh, uh, see, they're waiting a scam. <laughs> if, I, if, I buy, if I buy a Blu ray movie, it usually comes with a digital copy, I give it to my brother. So, uh, Deadpool was amazing, it was really good. A funny scam. action, <laughs> it's definitely way better they than the or- Wolverine yeah, Origins. Uh, one. Way better than Origins. <laughs> We're gonna do our most anticipated they, film they of, uh, of 2017, real quick. Uh, Juan, go ahead and start us off real quick. Most for me, film. unfortunately, for me in 2017, um, it's going to be Resident Evil. comes out earlier this year. Oh, okay. It's not the, I think it's going to be the best one ever. It's just what I'm excited for. It's a Resident Evil's 20th anniversary. Going to turn this is it for it though, right? This is the last movie? Yeah, the last chapter in the Resident Evil franchise. I hate the movies. I, I watch them. They're like, I watch them. I, I the cannot first two watch were, were tolerable. No, they weren't. They weren't. They weren't for you? No, not for me. <laughs> this is personal. <laughs> I, I still watch oh, the movies. This one looks more promising the last one wasn't too bad, but the two before that, like uh, Extinction oh, they or whatever, were, they were terrible. They're, they're, uh, this one looks a little better, like it, it looks promising. So I mean, that's my anticipation. I don't know if also. I always like Mila Jovovich. I'm gonna support her movies, but you know this <laughs> better. I personally want more bullets. I know you don't, but I don't know what you want. You want more? I, I want, want more scare factor. More scare. Factor. Resident Evil 20 anniversary. I'm hoping that. Now the movie that's really gonna change everybody. That's gonna change the world. It's gonna be Justice League, guys. No explanations for it. You already know. The fans know what it is. Just uh, Justice League. It's gonna change the world, change the universe, guys. That's what it is. Mike, what is yours? I don't think Justice League is gonna do that. Yeah, yet, yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is. Go, 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 man, what, what is what is yours? Let's see. What's your most anticipated film? All right. So I honestly want to pick Logan because everyone knows Wolverine's my favorite, but it's not gonna be because it's just a standalone movie. Honestly, I think Guardians of the Galaxy is yeah. gonna be the most anticipated. Volume two. There hasn't been enough books for Guardians of the Galaxy, and people already love these characters because. Back in 2014, they were just the greatest. And I honestly think it's because of Chris Pratt 
and mostly Raccoon. But this film, since everyone already knows who Groot is, Groot stole the preview with the bomb scene. Remember yeah, that? The, I am Groot. Yeah, the I am Groot. I am Groot. So, I am Groot. so yeah. Um, honestly, everyone already knows these characters. Groot. Loves them. <laughs> they're expecting another film. So, yeah. I mean, why not? I mean, they're definitely yeah. gonna. They're gonna, knock, yeah. they're gonna knock out Justice League out of the park. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I don't, I don't know about that. You know, they're coming for different memories. Justice League comes out in November. Uh, the Guardians when the Guardians come out. It's, uh, May. May. There you go. Yeah, it comes they're, out in May. They're, guys. Gonna kick, they're gonna kick off the summer, and they're coming out right on the holidays. Like, why? They should come out during the summer. Yeah. Justice League should be a summer. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you guys for coming. Uh, thank you guys for uh, making us a part of your day. We appreciate every single one, uh, one of y'all that uh, likes, support us, share our page, guys. Please. Uh, like, uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, I, I mean, comment on the section below. Or up. Yeah, if you agree with yeah. our list, or if you want to disagree, we put it. Put your list down. You. Put your list down in the comments, man. You we know, love to talk. Movie inter- talk. Yeah, we love to movie talk. talk. Yeah. We'll talk to us. And then our preferred uh, movie, movie theater we're going to be going to is the Alamo Draft House in the West Lakes. If we ever do go to a different location, is because of uh, you know scheduling, but. Overall, that's or a nicer theater like yeah. uh, IMAX or something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you guys. For, thank you guys for making this a part of your day. We are out.